you can see the settings all look pretty standard to me. I don't think I'm going to be caught out here by anything crazy. Um, so let's let's just crack straight into it. Kia ora, everybody. Welcome along. This is Valheim. This is um, this is a brand new game that is in early access. Looks like taken straight from the PS1 from this screen, but don't let that put you off. Um, because I've heard really, really, really good things about this. Like, this game is, it's going to be that game that just blows up, I think. Um, so, uh, what is it? Great question. Um, it's a crafting, survival, horror, open world Viking game. With a bit of fantasy in there as well. Uh, new world. Um, let's just call it our first. Oh, five, oh no, that's fine. Who? And there's the world seed. Surely we can do better than that. Seed. <laughs> I mean, someone's got a. Someone's got it, right? Um, so it's uh, 1 through 10 players, which is really cool. And even though it's an early access, apparently it's um, like the multiplayer and everything in it is just outstanding. Like, really truly outstanding. Sorry, I was just checking the um, the stream health, but I think we're good to go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> right. Oh, so here's our background. Yep, baby. I won't talk over that too much. You are welcome to read it, of course, in your own time. <laughs> oh, look at this. How wicked is that? <laughs> oh, I love it. That is very cool. I guess this is, um... I have arrived! Oh, boy. Absolutely drops frames like there's no tomorrow. It's, um... Because my PC is under a great deal of stress right now. <laughs> Here we are. Welcome to Valheim. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um. Welcome to the 10th World Warrior. Sacrificial stones, they represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, and you're gone. <laughs> Wicked. Okay. Um. Oh no, you're back. Okay. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. I I try and punch the spirit every time. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. 
<laughs> right, let's roll. I feel like the first thing... Woohoo! I'm the best runner. I feel like the first thing... Um, that you should do in any game is punch a tree, right? But I feel like punching that tree is... Less helpful. This one appears to be breaking. Uh, looks like we've got stamina bar down the bottom, which is preventing me from just like totally going absolutely wild. Um, inventory. Nothing super ridiculous there. Yes! Nice that we don't have to, like, spam E on the ground to try and pick everything up. It's, a like, a little thing, but it makes a big difference. <laughs> um, I'm not, like, 100% sure where to go next, to be honest. I'm just gonna, um... Where do I find this game? Steam. Yeah, baby. Steam. It's 25 bucks. Um, literally... Is that... Oh, it's that fucking bird. Um, yeah, 25 bucks on Steam. Early access. Sorry, I've got the um, I've got the stream playing in the background. And I'm, I'm confusing myself because I'm hearing myself talk. And then, like, going to listen to myself. I'm like, ooh, what, what does this person have to say? Oh, it's me. I'm just talking shit. Um, most items will be crafted, however, due to recent... Departure from Midgard, you'll have to recall the true shape of objects. Right, sure. Um, just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother Munin. Uh, stone axe. Yeah, okay, cool. Loot. Is that gold? Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Um, you can see the, um... Like, the menus are fairly rudimentary, but they're not terrible. I might, um, I might have to get my brother in on this action, have some co-op gameplay, because, um, apparently, it's, it's two through ten players, and apparently, um, even though it's, ah, even though it's, um, you know, pretty early access, it plays incredibly well, so I've heard. It's too hard. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I, I do think the graphics are a little ps one <laughs> like, but I, I, I don't know, I don't, I, I, um, I have to admit, I'm a little bit of a graphics snob, so, sometimes, sometimes, uh, I judge a game too harshly. Wow. The fantasy elements in this world are outstanding, actually. Like, I'm I'm really impressed already with the quality of this. Let's see if we can craft a stone axe. Right, so we need four stone. Yeah, so let's get some stone and get ourselves an axe. Because the, uh, the other thing about this is the base building. I've, um, oh, I can actually punch that. So, yeah, so right click to block, right click space to dodge. Oh, and I can kick as well. Can I kick this tree over? I love that. <laughs> um, I completely lost track of what I was saying. Sorry. Oh, yeah, and so there are apparently plenty of wildlife uh and all sorts of quite scary creatures here in this game um not that obviously ah <laughs> no it's leave me alone i don't have an axe yet <laughs> oops i'm like just running around trying to punch everything Oh, this is very cool. Oh, okay. They're having a little bit of trouble with <laughs> this damn boar. <laughs> Hold on, mate. Just let me, um, let me do something real quick. Uh, 
Should we? I I feel like a club is a good idea. In general. <laughs> right. Let's get him. <laughs> Where are you? You coward. Yes. Oh, how cool was that though? Ah. Uh. Oh, that was amazing. Who's next? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, this is this is really fun, actually. This is really fun. Just gonna pick up all these branches. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> I'm gonna go down and smash this poor animal. Oh look, round two, baby. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Oh, hey friend. Uh, we found a snack consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you'll grow hungry again. Tell me about it. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, shoot. Sorry. God, I do that every time to that poor bird. <laughs> uh, I thought I saw a stone there that I could pick up. Maybe I just... Oh, maybe I just auto-picked it up. Oh, there it is. Because uh, we need we need more of those if we want to get the axe. Um, I think I need some more wood as well, though. So I'm just going to run around like an absolute madman with this club. Which is just my favorite thing. The combat, uh, I will say, early impressions. And granted, I've only fought with a, um, with a boar. So I probably can't comment too much. But, um, <laughs> so far it seems good. It seems smooth. Uh, and responsive. And I really like it. Uh, basic, obviously. Like, it, it's just sort of hack and slash. But... Um, I have seen some people fighting some bosses, because people are already, like, a million hours into this game. Um, okay, we, we really need to play around with the stamina thing. So we got... Right, so that's for torches. Raspberries are food. We've got some leather, some feather. Okay, cool. Let's... Ooh. Okay, right-click to eat a raspberry. You can't eat more raspberries. I had one raspberry and I was like, oh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't think I can eat any more. Which is a bit odd. Branch. Don't just wail around at a branch, you madman. Beach. Nice. Um, so sprinting uses up our stamina, as does swinging our axe, uh, and looks like any- oh. <laughs> it's like boar hunting simulated 2020. Oh my god, the way they just explode into nothing, like, the graphics are bad, but man. The way they just explode into nothing. No, we're not doing any yet. We haven't fought a deer yet. They're kind of like- quick oh ow okay she damaged us my goal at the moment is just to do the classic oh guys i've got no stamina please don't fuck off don't do not <laughs> why did we get leather i i don't i don't ask questions can i farm this no need a pickaxe well, this one's a bit, bit smaller. Nah, nah. Whoa! Oh, good God. What are you? You're not the boar I'm looking for. Showing off my pro combat techniques. Yeah, eat it. <laughs> oh boy, that was that was quite something. Steam. Yeah, so so Steam Early Access. Uh, it's pretty cheap at the moment, like, because it is Early Access. 
uh, and it looks like it was, um, you know, spat straight out of a PlayStation 1. <laughs> but it's actually really cool. <laughs> I'm a big fan already. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, this land is hard and wild, but we who are brought here are harder still. Take comfort, traveler, in the gifts before you. The good wood and stone, the fruits and flowers of the forest. Look also to the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and the hand of man, but they can be taught to obey it. Go quietly to them and let them eat your stock. What? <laughs> let them eat my what? Uh, roots of the ground and their pleasure. Okay, so they're afraid of fire. So apparently they should run away from this torch. Oh my god, I can jewel wield. Yeah, get out of here! Just kidding. Wow, they really are. They're absolutely terrified of, um... Get out! Of my life! Oh, goodness. I, I'm about to die, friends. <laughs> I can't eat any more raspberries. Raw meat? Oh, I don't really want to cook raw meat, do I? Um, let's get stone axe. And uh, I've already got a torch. I probably don't super need another. Um, okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm a little low on health. It looks like I'm regenerating over time. Down the bottom left here, you can see um, a, a crappy little health bar of, of, of some kind. <laughs> um, so... I, and it, it, it is regenerating slowly, but I'm going to disgustingly... Oh, I actually can't eat the raw meat. How sad is that? <laughs> Let me eat raw meat! <laughs> I want to be sick. Uh, it's fine. There's some more. Nah, birch is too hard. Oh, but... Oops. We have this now. Let's... Okay. Birch is still too hard. Beach? Yes. Let's fell a whole tree. Maybe? I think that um circle around my face is me like level it. Timber! <laughs> yes! I am in love with this game already. This is so cool. Honestly, I can see why, I uh, can see why this is all the rage. Because this is wicked. I'm going to see if I can harvest this stump and log. Looks like I'm doing like a big swing. Oh, yeah, baby. There it goes. Um, do I have to cut up this log? Yeah, looks like I do. But that's fine. This is really fun, by the way. Uh, I don't know what it looks like on stream, but, um, or in the VOD, but... This is really, this is, this is a fun game. Uh, I think I'll, oh, come, come here. I am ready for you. Watch this dodge, you ready? No, what? Come back! <laughs> you can't run from me! <laughs> ah! Yes! What else can I craft? <laughs> boar trophy <laughs> don't you love that okay so we don't have, don't have a huge amount of blocking but the rest is good um cool 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 we're not super over encumbered we need oh yeah we need a hammer we need a hammer right now um so let's hopefully we can use this to no it's not doing any damage although it kind of looked like i was just hitting the ground Whoa! I think that was just a graphical glitch. <laughs> it kind of scared me. I thought the game was coming to an end. Um, I don't think the club was doing any better, was it? No. Maybe we just have to run around and like... Oh! Wait, I kind of need to block. Could you punch me? Thanks. <laughs> How to level up block? Oh no, it does use stamina, which which is good. I would expect it to. 
Right, see ya. Oh, he actually got a hit off on me. Could have blocked. Um, and then it appears to auto loot, which I just love. Auto loot me all day, baby. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> um, M for the map. Oh my, oh my. You cheeky, come back here. I'm just absolutely spam-tastic today. <laughs> Oh no, my club is uh, broken. Hey, that's cool. Let's, oops. Let's craft a new one. We've got heaps of wood. We've got wood for days. We need that hammer, because um, I think then I can start making a base, which I'm really keen to try. So I'm just gonna run around and spam me and pick up all these stones. Um, and then, I, I don't know. Anything like, um, you know, like where should where to build a base in the game or anything like that, but um, we're gonna give it a damn good. Oh, 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 oh. That club is broken and it won't let me get rid of it. I don't have any stamina. I just walked up to him and stared at his face. Sorry, friend. I have absolutely no time for you. It's very dark in this forest. Luckily. Here's the torch I prepared earlier. Happy hour. Gonna uh, push through this forest and then gonna crack out the hammer and have an absolute field day on base building. Um... I would love just to... F oh, that is... That is... That is very pretty for a... Um, for a PS1-ass looking game. <laughs> I'm never going to let it slide. <laughs> but in my review, I, I, I won't deduct points for um, score. Uh, for score? <laughs> I won't deduct points for score. I won't deduct points for the graphics. Because it kind of doesn't matter. Um, this forest, though, is so thick. Is there any sign? So there was a wee opening back down there. Damn, look at how absolutely absurd this is. Like, the, um... Oh, hello, Grayling. He's literally just, like, running. <laughs> Come back! I wonder if, um... You could eat another bite. Well, I might just do that. Strawberry? Raspberry, anybody? <laughs> it's good for our stamina. Right, let's get out of this forest. This hopefully looks like a clearing up ahead, so... Stick. Lots of berry bushes here, that's good. Ah, oh, yeah, look, here we go. Uh, I was hoping for some flat land, but, um, oh, I feel cold. Here we go. Here's old mate. Uh, when the temperature drops at night, or if you're wet, you'll suffer from being cold. It reduces stamina regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when it happens. Obligatory punch the bird. Okay. Well, are you going to provide me with a free campfire? Like, surely I don't have to do this myself. <laughs> Can I put the torch down? I... Uh, like, don't appear to be able to. Which probably means... It's time to craft this hammer. Right? Because this lets us build fortifications. Yeah, bam. Campfire recipe, baby. Oh, all sorts. So the hammer is essentially the crafting table. Oh, got a, quite a bit of zoom here as well that I somehow just never tried. Uh, old mate Bird Brains wants to chat again. Uh, with this tool, you can raise a uh, hall and towering fortification. Start by building a, a workbench. We're familiar with this uh, with this tried and true recipe. <laughs> uh, this in turn will enable you to construct other things. Fantastic. So, if I press five, swapped to my hammer, um, we're in crafting mode. Oh, look at this wonderful sort of relatively open space too. 
This is fantastic. I don't know if you can see it. It's very dark. But we're about to craft a... We, we need a workbench, but I really want a campfire festival. So there we go. Boom. We have fire. Uh, and then right click. Let's get the fabled workbench. Just sit it up right here next to the um next to the campfire. Oh, an old mate's here. Get my club out. Hey, uh, the workbench allows you to craft complex items. Not sure why items is capitalized. Uh, as well as giving you access two lots of more building pieces to construct with the hammer yep oh my god the, look at the recipes guys this is insane wood beam wood beam fence pole bed chest tor standing torch oh give me them crafting station needs a roof why <laughs> why does it need a roof <laughs> okay uh that's fine Oh, this is fantastic. Okay. Wood floor. It's like quite small. Uh, and it's sort of... Huh, that's interesting. Um, okay, what about if we get some walls oh that's cool so we could build like a pyramid of fence okay i like that um what about a nice looking wooden wall or no some, some some beams actually if we just fang a couple of beams you feel cold oh friend right because this thing needs a roof so let's just plonk like two posts behind it can we stack them not well oh you improved your jumping abilities love that for me oh yes you can Is that <laughs> okay well i mean it's not the most even of, of roofs but um <laughs> oh i should get some uh standing torches as well hey i'm un unclear about what the like dotted lines are but i'll put some of these around so uh we can all see what the hang is going on here <laughs> oh that's much better isn't it might put one up on this hill nice that'll do right let's get back to crafting running a little low on resin but oops ah but not ridiculously so now i need a roof apparently so should we go for like the the world's worst looking roof i mean this isn't terrible so like it's so dumb looking it's not even gonna hit the post <laughs> oh dude I should have built the roof first Hey, I mean, you know, it's a roof. That's what counts, right? I keep pressing escape to try and, like, um, roll through this somehow. Ah, oh, left shift snapping options. Okay, Apolo ap apologies. Let us, uh, so we can place, remove, open the build menu, shift snapping options. And rotate with click. Although, 
Why am I, why is it still holding this freaking torch? That's really quite annoying. I've just got a hammer. Yeah. Um, I think I will remove... Oops. Remove mouse three. Kind of weird. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That is actually kind of attached. So I'm going to leave that. Maybe we just leave it like that. It's, I mean, it's just, it's rudimentary, right? Like it, it doesn't actually matter. Um, I'm not sure if there's any, anything else particularly that I want to craft in there. But I'm fairly happy with that. That's quite cute. What are the snapping options? Left shift. Doesn't like. Sure. Rotate. Okay. I see you. Let's get this out. Station is too exposed. Okay. Th this is kind of annoying. <laughs> like. What, what, what are these arbitrary rules? Um, let's go... Oh yeah, I've got that boar trophy that I need to establish. We can do that. Um, <laughs> mouse 2 for the build menu. Alright, too exposed, are you? I'll teach you. If you're in cold, don't worry. It's all good. Let's get... Um, Maybe just a wee one? That, that, like, that's quite nice. Uh, it'll be like, ouch, tow exposed. Hmm. Let's go the big one. And just sort of plonk it, like, there. Who's exposed now, huh? The minor finessing day two. I feel like there should be like a whirr. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't have wood. Well, look. If that's not too exposed, uh, the opposite of too exposed, I don't know what is. Let's see. It's too exposed. Okay. We come. We're, we're um. We're going to get some materials. It's daylight. Daylight. I mean, I guess I could get some stone. Oh, nah, let's just wail on this log over here. Oh, sweet. I love how it reminds me that I can eat food. That's really nice. Oh, we should cook that meat as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to brag or anything, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, look, I mean, say no more. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I would love to add um <clears throat> Ow. I'm on fire. Yeah, I would run away too. Okay, so Oh. Wow. It's really cool, though. This is really cool. <laughs> Should just be walls everywhere? <laughs> no. What I'm going to do is wail on this log a little bit. Classic crafting game. Spends half the game punching a log. Oh yeah, that one that one was a goodie. Take that stone. We can't farm stone yet. Ah 
Hit me. Thank you. Oops. It's like it's like you hit them once and then they're like, oh sorry! <laughs> you kinda of think Just don't hit me, bro. <laughs> like you just don't hit me. <laughs> the club no oh ah uh, the um all of the like there's some stones all of the fog and stuff that that is hanging around is great for the atmosphere but i kind of feel like it um i don't know it attract uh detracts from the game slightly i would like to see more of the map basically like I mean, I get it. Like it's it's view distance fog of war, but I don't I don't know. It, it feels a little. Uh, no, I, I'm probably being a bit pedantic. Actually, it's fine. It's procedurally generated after all. So the like what's out there in the fog actually doesn't exist until I get close. That's why if you notice any frame drops at all, it's it's when that's generating. But I have to say, uh, considering I am live streaming, recording playing and monitoring the live stream uh right now and this early access game is running on my computer which isn't a supercomputer by by any means like it's a it's good but it's not it's not a supercomputer um you know like we're talking like like this computer has like a gtx uh, i want to say 1060 maybe or or something. I, I like I legit can't even remember what's in the system um, but it's it's not a high-end system either way um, you know it's it's a solid mid-tier gaming system and it's doing oh, it's doing really well like this yeah this game is performing fantastically please yeah see after one hit they're like sorry I'm gonna put my put my torch out so people don't bother me while I'm reading this. Uh, this has already been read by me. <laughs> Thanks. Did anyone pay any attention to where the base was? No. Did I lose it? Probably. Do I care? No. Sorry, friend. <laughs> I'm just sort of out on like a, a midday um, errands trip essentially here. We're just nipping out to grab a bit of stone and wood and then we'll pop back to the crappy base. Uh, I do see on the bottom left corner of the mini map there's a little arrow pointing this way. Does anyone in, in chat know what that is for? Uh, like is that it's not north. Is it pointing toward back toward this? Perhaps I don't know. Oh, I sh I, okay. So I can tag my um, tag my house on the map. That would be useful before you leave the house, probably. Uh, okay. Just not gonna wail on that. Let's open up the old crafter roo. Uh, not the map. Crafting menu. Just got a real basic shit here. I more wanted to see. Yeah, we got eleven stones. Can I just throw that away, please? It's really annoying. Um, okay, let's head back to base, which is just around here. Literally right in front of my eyes. Hey, look at this. You want to see top tier crafting? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ah. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Get out of here. Okay, so the, the station is too exposed. I'm going to fix it that right now. Oh my god. I'm going to fix it right now as soon as I deal to this troublemaker. Come here! <laughs> I love the way how they explode into nothing. <laughs> it's so satisfying. <laughs> In like a really maniacal way. Um, okay. I'm going to get... Um, yeah, let's get the old building tool out. Because we're going to mouse three the roof. Well, points for realism. Um, 
and that. Yeah, love it. Okay, now get this wall. Put the put the posts on the inside. Right, brilliant. And then and see the the like base building is not too bad. Um, it's my bad building is worse than the uh, actual mechanics. You know, like these mechanics are fine. Uh, the only thing is, if we open this up, um, there's floor, but there's no foundation, so it's kind of, like, uh, the floor mechanics are odd, to say the least. How's your d Ah, not too bad! Um, I, I was, actually felt, uh, a little sick overnight, but feeling good this morning. Feeling good, and I really wanted to try this game. Um, it's a little different to the norm, uh, evangelism, but, you know, when in Rome. See, like, it, it sort of, it will click to that, but not to that. Hmm. Either way, it thinks this is too exposed. Does it think it is too exposed if... I add some more walls, perhaps on, perhaps we just like, fully go, er, you see, it's, it just takes a little bit of finessing, just to sort of like get it to snap, like the, the snap could probably be a bit stronger, I think, um, you see there again, it's uh, like a little finicky, but it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just gonna make a little room, I guess. <laughs> sure. Will it? Will it? Will it tell me now that it's too exposed? Um. Crafting station needs a roof. Okay, we've okay, okay, okay. You ready for this? building menu. The, the controls are pretty good too. Uh, hope you're feeling better now. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. For the most part, I am. Uh, this will probably, I'll probably end the stream soon though. Um, I just really wanted to try this. Uh, yeah. So this is a survival horror, a Viking themed. So there are, um, like there's a whole load of like sort of Norse God kind of stuff is my is how I, I would generically describe it you know this it's just yeah it's that viking that viking life uh basically like assassin's creed valhalla sort of vibes but otherwise yeah sandbox survival um see like oh okay we don't want uh what, what we probably want is like this is this is getting far too ambitious. <laughs> but what I probably want. I love that it reminds me to eat raspberries. Hmm. Well that's not gonna work. <laughs> nice. Ow! <laughs> no! I've caught far! Eat a raspberry, that'll make you feel better. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Okay, have a look at this. Um, let me just remove that. Okay. Just a brief interlude from base building. Um, because the combat is hilarious. It's, you know, like, it's a fairly rudimentary combat. Uh, I fought lots of boars. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and and also some ah uh, yeah like this guy this grayling these are like the first you know so th there's sort of a fantasy like viking fantasy sort of get to valhalla feel to it see in that like you can block and dodge like these guys are basic as but womp you see like that wasn't particularly hard <laughs> but but that's literally like the worst oh yeah i must have got these stones um, the worst enemy. The boars are so funny because they explode into little pieces. Um, and they're afraid of torches. So you can, 
you can be just the worst human being ever to them. Ah, uh, look, here we go. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, I ran out of stamina right at that moment. After you hit them once, though. Boom! They're toast. We got some meat. And a dandelion. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we'll add it to this crappy face. <laughs> Which has stairs now, though. Credit where credit's due. <laughs> Oh, that's very cool. I'm, I, uh, so it's, it's one through ten players. Yeah, it's one through ten players. I'm going to get my brother into this and we're going to play together because, um, I, like, I, I want to just, it's kind of like Rust, you know, like it, it has that Rust vibe to it where, um, where you just want to do more and more and more and more and more, you know, you, you build this and you build that and then you fight that and then you're like, oh, I really love killing boars and so you want to kill more, um, But yeah, you're right. The the one thing that I would say, and that I've I've said before, so a, apologies if you've heard it already, but um, this is for a game that looks not the best, right? Like it does look a bit PS one y. Um, you know, there's no doubt. It's yeah, you're right. It's very chilled. It's very chilled. Um, what on earth was that? It's very chilled. It the although the combat like with the bosses can get pretty intense apparently but um you know it's like chill craft survive build up very smooth for an early access game that is 25 new zealand dollars which i i don't know how much it is on the u.s store but i can't see it being more than 20 u.s dollars um like th th this is a this is a good experience and get out of here and like you know i'm like streaming and recording and and literally streaming and recording on my pretty average system and which hope uh, I'm, I'm looking to upgrade one day yeah real good uh, maybe you could build your base closer to a river in case you catch fire <laughs> uh -huh. okay tips with tmart over here fantastic right so i can get access to more technologies perhaps i could have like a holiday home out by the river um and then or or i could just leave like this could literally just be like the crafting stuff oh my god stop <laughs> uh yeah i def definitely want access to those river technologies though what am i missing wood didn't i literally just hack and slash at something for like Five hours for wood. Oh. Oh no! I did that classic noob move where you're like, you you use up all of your resources. Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, you're right. You're right. I should, um, I'm sorry. That was my bad. I should build on the river. Or near a mountain? Surely near a mountain. Okay, beach. You're done. Right, surely that netted us enough wood. Oh my goodness. Every now and then it goes like real bang and crash. <laughs> oh, this is a really cool world though. I know I've said it again and again and again, but this is really, this is neat. Like, this is really neat. Um, I just think the multiplayer aspect would be really cool. Let's crack out our builder's tool and get... See, like, what? What? That, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. I want to... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You can do it. I believe in you, game. There we go. 
obviously the base is two stories. <sighs> and I'm on fire again. Okay. <laughs> Dude, why am I always on fire? I never thought about mountains being good because they can't be attacked from the side. Uh, 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 science bonuses as well. Uh, mountains and Civ give huge science bonus. Um, a lot of the time. So, yeah. Wor worth doing. Even just for a city. But yeah, if, if you don't have access to fresh water, you're going to struggle a little bit. So, you will still need access to fresh water. Yes. Yes, this game. This game is so stable. I, um... Like, I'm really impressed with this. This is cool. I'm just going to put a pool fence. Literally just, like, one bit. I know that looks horrendous, but... <laughs> I just keep catching fire. <laughs> it's like a child... This is like a child-proof fencing thing. Oh, I probably don't need two. We'll just... We'll leave that one there. We'll, we'll see how we go. Definitely worth being closer to a river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get right in on that river action, friend. Um, right, so I'm still in desperate need of wood. Story of my life. Um, how do we just have none, dude? You can dual wield a torch. You can, believe me. <laughs> Just beat the shit out of this. <laughs> it would be really cool if the um, trees would catch fire, because then something would be on fire that wasn't me. Which would be a nice change of pace. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly... Um, whoa, I'm just going to swallow my mic. The fire literally probably will kill me. The stream, the, this will end because I'll die to a fire and be like, I'm not playing this anymore. But did I say it was fun? Even though it looks like PlayStation 1? I lied. It's not fun. Because I died to a fire. That's what will happen. Um, oh boy, it's really dark. Let's get back to base. Mainly for um, seeing purposes. Yes! Stone Axe. Okay, hold up. Just before we pop back to what is undoubtedly... Uh, the best base <laughs> that money can buy. <laughs> I'm just going to whip out this and fell a tree. I'm assuming, but I don't know, but I'm assuming, oh, running skill improved, running 10. Uh, I'm assuming you can plant trees. So I'm going to smash this one down. Oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to smash this down. The stamina um, is like quite good. The, you know, like, it, yeah, the oak tree's way too hard. It, the, it sort of keeps you in balance, I suppose. Like, it, it, you know, it works as intended. The stamina mechanic. But I run out a lot. It has a roof! <laughs> okay, you ready for this? Just, just to, um, just to really, just to really make this look cool. Uh... Like, if I literally just do this temporarily, that should do it. I hope. We're about to find out. Uh, no, you could not eat another bite. Why are they, why is Q and E? Oh, okay, you can Q and, okay, weird. Weird! Um... Not super sure how I feel about these. However. Right, now, surely. Yes! All I had to do was build that almighty roof. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. Oh, we are away laughing. Looks like there are... Oh, yes. Give it to me. I want all of these. 
I want literally everything here. Uh, so I'm only level one, but I've leveled up all of this stuff. Interesting. I'm missing that leveling requirement. Perhaps that'll just... Why am I just running at this? <laughs> ah, early access. Um, is nighttime dangerous is a fantastic... Oh, okay. I've just repaired my pants. Um, that's a great question. Uh, a lot of animals are afraid of light. So, like, the campfire is a win. Oh, this fence is a win. Um, so they'll stay away. Not sure about the bad Viking dudes. Unclear to me, as of yet. Uh, although none of them have, and none of them have walked up to my base. But I imagine, like most, oh, you feel so cold. I imagine, like most games, um, you know, there's, there's going to be a point where I will, like, there'll be, you know, It'll be zombies attack tonight, or that that kind of thing. So, whoa, my stamina just took an absolute dive. Oh, I wanted to plant them, but I think I just threw them on the ground. <laughs> what if I check them up here? Use beach seeds on what? Well, the ground, obviously. <laughs> I must need a hoe to till the land. Hey ho. Yeah, like like early nights don't appear to be dangerous. I mean, look, I'm I'm literally just like I'm close to the base, granted, but I'm just wandering around here, you know. Like I'm I'm literally doing nothing. How are you in the chat, anyway, dude? I didn't even ask. I have not tried the multiplayer in this yet, but I, um, I will, because everyone is saying that, um, it's one through ten players, and it's, and it just works well, like, j just like how smooth this is for an early access, the multiplayer just works, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, probably gonna try that later today. But I'll see. But probably. After a bit of a break. The wood is a little bit of a hold up. Although I built this dumb... Absolutely dumb structure, so... Uh... Farmer's tool for working the earth. Naturally. I want to plant these... Ooh! Ah, oh, yes, okay, fantastic. So, Ho allows us to level out this ground, which is just what I was complaining about. Oh, that's awesome. Did I just smash something up? Oh, yeah, I smashed a torch. Say lovey. Oh, old mate's got something to say. Oh, sorry, friend. <laughs> just, uh, just leveled your ground there. <laughs> Uh, this tool's used for landscaping. You could say it's the perfect complement to the capital H hammer. Use it to clear the ground and manipulate the terrain. It's easier to create buildings on level ground. Well, you could have told me that before I built this stupid shack. <laughs> Definitely going to settle near a river. Oh, wicked. Wicked. Dragon's dogma. How good. Good to hear, bro. Um, okay, so, I can, what? What's a, what does that mean? Oh, Parthen. 
as in to create a path? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen the word pardon before. I'm triggered by that. What a strange word. Um, is that leveled? It doesn't look particularly leveled. We can also raise the ground. Oh my god, can I nerd pull by raising the ground below me? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, it actually requires stone. I just built a big ass rock. That's cool. That's cool. I like that a lot. Um, so if you go, if you right click, you can choose what function you want to do. So I can just like smooth this back out. Very cool. I don't like the fact that it gets rid of the grass, but will it absolutely destroy my base if I level this ground? Let's test it. No. I think it will probably destroy the pool fence though, won't it? Oh, apparently not. Sweet. I can just literally level out my base while it's here. This is winning. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, it destroys those. Well, can't win them all. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there were some casualties. But you know what? The space sucked anyway, so... <laughs> oh, that's really cool. I love that. Uh, one complaint, the knights go for a really long time. I mean, surely there's a bed, right? Let's see. At the moment, not. I mean, I would love an arrow, uh, a bow, rather, and some arrows. I can't make them because I used all the wood on a bow. Fun times. Um, where's the... Let's swap to the hammeroo because I think that... Um... Yeah. I can get some of these torches back up and running. At least one of them. It's tied us over until daytime so we can actually see what the hang's going on. Right, and so you can just stack. Oh, and you can sail the seas. We're going to the river after all, baby. <laughs> Wooden beam, pool fence, furniture. Very cool. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Uh, and so I figured out how to level off the ground. So now we've got a nice little bit of flat land here. <laughs> this crappy base. <laughs> I guess this is like an emergency. Like I climb up here. I pull out my bow. You are out of arrow. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's get some wood. Ah, oh, that tree is so cool. I know I've said it a million times, but far ah, that tree's cool. <laughs> right. Let's show these beaches a thing or two. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we're going, we're going to the river after all because we can make a raft. I saw um, a screen grab of this. This dude had gone out on a raft and there was this giant like river kraken monster. It was ginormous, man. Like this thing was like 10 or 20 times bigger than the player. And it just... Oh! It just, um... I haven't seen you in a while. I'm like... Spazzing out. <laughs> as soon as I pull out my club... He's running away. I don't think so, Grayling. Eat it. <laughs> Gotta use the right tool for the right job. Yeah, the stone axe is so much faster. It's 
fell a proper beach while we're at it. If I want to build this raft and get to the river, I'm going to need a proper beach. <laughs> Doesn't... Ah, uh, yes. Timber! Nice. Just absolutely wailing on these logs. I'd love to be able to just like pick it. Oh my goodness, I can roll it. Loot, 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 loot. <laughs> roll it back to my base. <laughs> Hold up. Get this tree out of the way. The auto loot, which it does most of the time, is a, an absolute godsend. Thank you for automatically picking up logs. Ow. Oh my. Do I need a pull fence here too? <laughs> yeah, you would assume that, um, that the water would be nothing, right? Because the w water is always a boring part in a game. Like, think about, say, like, Minecraft. Like, no one, no one back in the day was like, let's go and play in the water. You know, it was, it was land-based. And then eventually they added stuff. And that's true for most games, really. Like, the, the, unless it's a game, obviously, based on, like, a pirate game or whatever, then a boat game, then you're not playing in the water. But, the, these devs, they're onto it, man. Uh, they've made, um, uh, why does that name escape me? They made, uh, I keep going to say Stardew Valley, but that's not right. They've made games similar to this, like, Satisfactory, uh, was the one I was looking for. They made Satisfactory. Hey, look, here's another killer log. So, stamina is killer, man. Yeah, so, that, like that, you know, this is, this is kind of an old formula to them. Subnautica. No, I haven't. Oh, I, I've played it once for about half an hour, I think. Yeah, yeah, I've seen some terrify, terrifying clips from... No, my stone axe needs repairing. Um, I love the fact that it doesn't just disintegrate into nothing. That is very cool. It actually gives you a chance to go back and repair. Um, yeah, nah, I, I've not touched it really. But I've seen some terrifying clips. Of scary things. <laughs> I want to get to that level 2. Um, why am I repairing my rag tunic? Oh, let's get some arrows. Yes, baby. Thank you. And, um, stone axe. Oh, fantastic. Required station level. Ah. Uh, Ah, okay. I read the thing and now I know what to do. <laughs> Who would have thought? So we bring out our hammer, right click, and oh, there's a cooking station as well. Fantastic. And now that I've leveled out this ground, not 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 a, a, a super great job. I'll level with you, but uh, it's good enough. I'll level with you. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Let's get a floor. Come on, baby. There we go. See, like, just slight. It's just slightly clunky with the um, with the like, snapping. The snapping is slightly clunky. But you have to be quite precise. Um, but again, like I won't hold that against them because they've done a pretty good job with this game. Like this is early access and this is better than most games, <laughs> to be honest. I really want to try this bow and arrow first though. And then we'll come back to, um, what is undoubtedly the world's best base. Okay. 
can't eat any more raspberries. Oh, I did want to do the cooking station, didn't I? Oh, we can do that at night. We should seize the day. Carpe diem. Did I not repair this? Dang it. I lie. We're going back to base. Maybe I needed a little more stone. And now I've got it. Question mark? <laughs> I just can't get out. It's so like PlayStation 2. I get a real PlayStation 2 vibe from this game. <laughs> I think it's the graphics. Obviously the PlayStation 2 never had anything this like um, sophisticated. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> um... Sticky keys! <laughs> oh, it's been a long time, sticky keys. Okay. Um, firstly, I need to try and repair this. Um, this. Oh, it doesn't look like it can. Stone axe. Repair? Ah, uh, there we go. I, I just had to click it twice for some reason. That's fine. Repair the hoe as well. Everything else is all good. Yeah, right? It feels... It feels PlayStation 2. <laughs> oh, of course you need to have a fire lit under the cooking station. What kind of moron... Smash. Place. Yes! Now we're cooking with gas. Do I want anything else? Probably not. Right now, I think we're all good. Chest. Bed. Yes! I'm so sophisticated! <laughs> Get off my beds! Yeah, the bird is glitching the F out. Um, right, I removed one. Oh, I removed the wrong one. God damn it. Okay, let's try again. Bed. Right, there we go. Okay, bird. What do you want? Ah, uh, right. A headrest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. It's good practice to always have some spare equipment. If something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring, dot, dot, dot. Ah, <laughs> uh, it is kind of a Spyro vibe. Yes, you're so right. I was just talking about Spyro the other day with my... Brother and co-host of the Press to Respawn podcast, available on all good podcast platforms and my YouTube channel. And we were talking about Spyro because he's bought it and platinumed it or something. Um, so, yes, you're so right. It's Spyro. It's Spyro all day. Every day. This is Spyro. Um, now, while it's daytime, let's go and try this. And then we'll come back and hopefully sleep the night away. Although I feel like maybe the base needs to be slightly more secured. Also, often in these games, one of the mechanics is that, you know, after you start sleeping and start building, more enemies start spawning. And that wouldn't surprise me. Like, I think we could be in for increasing threat levels here. And I don't know if we're ready for them. Oops, I'm accidentally hoeing the ground. I meant to chop that tree. But instead I leveled out the earth underneath it. Mood. Should we, should we chop this beach? <laughs> uh, beach puns. 
In 2021 YouTube, Beech Tree is about as rude as it gets. Dig out the stump. Oh, and I forgot to put some bloody meat on the cooker, didn't I? Whoa. <laughs> okay. This log will... Like, just, this log... What's the bit? It'll just randomly kill me here somehow. <laughs> Can I do like a big swing and... <laughs> yes. The bird is... The bird is the biggest troll. That raven. I like it though. It's like I didn't have to sit there doing a dumb tutorial, you know? They, would, they just put this bird in and they were like... He's going to turn up and tell you after you discover something. What it's used for i.e. you're gonna build your base on some really not flat land and then he's gonna turn up and be like oh by the way um you can make this land flat oh here we go the hunter um <laughs> so not the greatest archer. I'll go for this one that's standing... Oh, you would move. Seems like there's a little bit of drop here. You have to aim. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm so good! <laughs> Although it, it, it loves to... Okay, the uh, bow and arrow... Ow. Bone Arrow is l not quite as fluid as the melee mechanics. <laughs> you can see this uh, doesn't appear to be any way to draw the bow or zoom in, at least at this low level. Uh, maybe with a better bow I'll be able to, so I shouldn't judge too harshly. But this rudimentary bow, rudimentary is, is really the prime word for it. It's, um, <laughs> it's pretty basic. <laughs> you know, like... This is sort of all I can do. And then it looks like... Like, watch. I'll aim for the top of this. It's quite a bit of drop. Um, but pretty strong. To cut those boars in a, a, a single strike. So I'm... I'm... Uh, I'm not mad at it. Put it that way. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ready? Oh. See? It's just like... It's just like... No. Nah. Oh, it's stamina. I'm running out of stamina. Wow, it's really stamina intensive, actually. <gasps> oh, we found a pre-existing structure. There's no way I built that. Look how um, look how well put together it is. Hey, this is exciting. I'm. I just thought I'd be like, I'll mark it on the map, but I. I have no idea. Oh, here we go. Yes. Um, uh, what should we call it? Um, crappy treehouse thing. Oh, no. Trappy, crappy treehouse thigh. <laughs> uh, please. Oh, there's no loot. Oh. <laughs> I legit thought there would be loot in here. That's why I saved it. Ready? Three, two, one. I don't know why that first shot missed, but oh, see, and then that, that <laughs> poof. I love how they disappear into nothing. That's fantastic. Oh, here we go. Let's try it on a grating. Yeah. Bone arrow. It's quite rudimentary, but it's fun. You pop off now. Oh, good. Definitely going to need to build a gym. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and chatting in the chat. You are the best. You are the best. Enjoy your dinner, friend. Hey, go, go, and have the, go and have the best evening. Best evening you know how. It's 10 a.m. here, so I'm going to have the best day. Two. We're going to have the best day together. So thanks so much for tuning in, dude. And, uh, and engaging with the chat. I super appreciate it. 
got a, another sieve tutorial coming out this week, so <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to plug that. I think uh, I think it's because we were talking about sieve before. Sorry. <laughs> right. Hey, Grayling. Oh man, the club is like chump compared to the um compared to the bloody bow and arrow. Bow and arrow is like did like 23 damage before crabberry tree house the uh kind of forgetting where my base is i think it's up here i think i need to go north <laughs> right let's get back to base starting to get dark we've got to try I hope I can remember to do all these things. I want to get my base to level 2. I want to try and sleep. I want to cook. I want to... I think that's everything. Oh, and try and get my stamina up as well. I need to build that gym that uh, Evangelism was talking about in the comments. Anyway, here we are. Home sweet home. <laughs> Hardly know her. I know. It's pretty flash. Like, don't be too intimidated by the fact that I can't get into my own home. Although I did just <laughs> level up my jumping skill. Okay, let's do some cooking. Oh. Oh, brilliant. One through eight? Why, um... What does the one through eight do? Oh. Sure. Oh, you can't use birch seeds on a cooking station. Well. Sorry, vegans. Okay, so we're cooking. Done. Uh, next thing I want to do is whip out the old hammer and get this place, like, actually looking slightly better. So, again, we're going to deal with Clunk City over here. We'll go just, like, relatively small. Um, although, because it lets me build on, like, non... What? <laughs> okay, I think we need a floor before we build walls. So, it's one of those games. <laughs> Don't hold that against it. Might have to move the crafting bench, because it's going to be a... No! Oh, see, it's so clunky. Building walls under walls here, baby. Oh, no, we should be all right. Hopefully that just, that'll just do the thing. Um, <laughs> you know, it's fine. <laughs> okay, let's maybe just try and sleep first, maybe, because it is quite hard to see, isn't it? Let's just see if it'll let me sleep. Bed needs roof. Everything needs roof, but that's fine. I'm just going to build a rudimentary roof. Um... literally like the one that's on the um crafting thing <laughs> it's like the worst roof ever like watch this this is, this is gonna this is gonna make um builders worldwide cringe <laughs> What I would love is just roof. Yeah, there we go. Although, I don't know. It's like, it hangs really low. I guess I could make it go up like that. But that feels a little extreme, doesn't it? We sort of just want a flat roof, really. No? Maybe I don't use roof. Maybe I use beams and then put floor over it? Nah. I think, I think it has to be roof. But see, the trouble is I don't, I don't really want to put a ridge there. I think it probably it does just have to be this one. Sorry, it's getting quite difficult to see. Does that count? Ah! Ah! I'm in menu chaos! <laughs> okay. Let's give it a whirl. Three, two, one. No. New plant. Smash. 
Oh, no, hold on. I do not want to take out the roof while I'm at it. Um, let's remove the bed and put it actually under the roof. Furniture, bed. It was green. It was green underneath. The bed is too exposed. This is fine. Should I have built this during the day? Yes, you're, you're not wrong. The bed is too exposed. Alright, I'm going to get a torch down here because this is too dark. Will it burn the house down? Probably. Feels unsafe. Just saying. <laughs> Feels a little unsafe. <laughs> but, nonetheless, I live to please. So, fang this out. Let's get some walls. Just. Da -da -da. Here. Imagine if this whole thing comes... Like, I don't understand the physics of this game. And I feel like this whole thing could just fall down because it's too heavy. Like, they're pretty clever with their physics. <laughs> I'd love to just put a half one there, but... That's fine. Let's also get one at the top of the stairs, because I am prone to just running and falling off the side. There we go. That's looking very pretty. <laughs> not, not, not really. Right, let's try sleep now. The bed is, the bed is still too exposed. I could eat another bite. Um, I'm gonna added to coal. I feel like I may have left the meat on there a bit long. <laughs> Let's check on that soon. <laughs> um, okay, this bed's still too exposed. I'm gonna try and trick the game into thinking that, um into thinking that it sort of has a door. I reckon that'll probably do it, right? Oh, shoot, I'm opening the bloody command. Um, right, let's get floor down. Nice. Why does that not line up? <laughs> you know what? Get out of here. Okay, this is this is going to be like the boudoir. All right, you ready for this? Use beach seats on what? I don't want to use the damn beach seats. <laughs> huh. uh, I was going to do half ones, but I've changed my mind. Bang that in there. And then, one, two... Right? You see where this is going. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And then we'll put a door here. And that should do it, I hope. brilliant. Well, I mean, maybe it's brilliant. 
and some little steps. Okay, now this is technically secured. <laughs> Bed is still too exposed. Maybe it wants to be fully closed. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let's try and um, maybe wall it in up here too. Out of wood. Okay, so the bed has had the bed has bit me this time. I'm getting like insane jump skill level. Oh no, the cooking! <laughs> Damn it! I got coal again. <laughs> I got coal for Christmas. <laughs> uh, right. Well, look, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Uh, this has been a first look and let's play of Valheim. The latest um, strategy is a stretch because I'm not particularly strategic, but the latest uh, crafting open world survival game um, by uh, the same people who've made some really other great games uh, like similar to the likes of Subnautica and others. Um, it's really cool. I would really recommend you, you check this out. Um, th there is some clunkiness with it. Like the bow and arrow is a bit clunky. This this is clunky. Um, but it, it's a lot like Rust. Uh, it's a lot like Satisfactory. I think you're going to have a really good time with it. And there's that fantasy, this whole fantasy amazingness to it as well that just makes it a really incredible and enticing world with ps1 style graphics <laughs> so yeah thanks so much uh for watching everybody and i am gonna save here and uh and see you next time